Hey McWarrior, welcome back to Open Plays McWarrior 5. Uh, let's see how best to say it. We got the priority transmission for Dragon's Gambit. We got three months to accept or lose. Let's, and uh, I told you in the last episode that I'd be punching out when we got into this episode. But then I thought about it real hard and we got three guys, especially this one, two guys, I'm sorry that more than likely will not be participating. So, the Cicada will not be participating in Drag Dragon's Game. We're sure of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a loadout on him and take out that double engine heatsink. Which drops him down to too hot to run. And for three days, we'll just wait. Because this guy needs it bad. I'm thinking about taking his out too. I can swap it back in maybe if I need him. But if I am going to need him, I'm going to need him in beginning missions where everything is lighter weight. So I'm going to leave him for now. We'll go ahead and go to three days. And the Highlander is one more day. That's who needs it most, right? Two, yep. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and do the timeline one more time for, for one day. Wait a minute. That's that one. Yep, two more days. Well, I gotta make a payment. Three million C bills out the door. It helps to have lots of money. And you can spend lots of money. Wait a minute. So uh, something's off here anyway. Oh, I didn't hit a repair on him. I'll be darned. Slide that into here. Glad we caught that now. I doubt I would have had to have used him in the first mission, but you never know. And just repair all. And he's a lot better for heat now. That's just fine. Put him back in the stack. Yeah, I'm going to need plug in plays for uh, lower tonnage. We've got some lined up. And. Everybody's short term. There's nowhere we're going to go where I don't have three months of travel time. Three months remain. Here we go. Dra Dragon's Gambit. Oh, 143 days. You know what that means. It would be 156. But I'll take that. This is the beast. 136. All right, all right, I'm ready to go. He doesn't need it. This is Rooster. 111. Uh, click it right, Opa. This is Raider. You know, you know how hard it is to call yourself Granddad. Commander, it's an honor to join your company. 34 fits. Glad to join the company, Commander. Let's kick some ass. Okay, this is going to cost Hell some money yeah. by the time it's all Boy said and ass. done, but once again, I got it. We'll lay you down, Commander. I've trained for this. That's everybody but him, all so right, might as well. Right, I'm ready to go. Thanks for the opportunity, Commander. <clears throat> Not going to let you or your company down. Now the only other thing I was thinking is I should take this Mackie here and buy it. And of course I'm still thinking it. Put those two PPCs in, although I got a feeling I put those back as PPCs, that number is going to go astronomical. But that's a good mech for a 100 ton fill-in, should I need one. 
I'm going to do without. We, I hope not. I don't, I, Dragon skin, it gets rough, folks. Let's go do the depart thing. Well, that spun up the fans on my graphics card. NVIDIA 4080, whatever. on that too. See what else we got here. It might be fun. How am I spending 10 million for that? I don't do infernos normally speaking. I did it at the beginning when I first started playing. They're fun. But well, they're fun. Doesn't have to be a butt on that, does there? I wonder what they do. Huh. Yeah, no thanks. I mean, that sounds cool, but it's made up stuff. <laughs> As if any of this is factual. Here we go. This will be our boss, I guess. Taishu Michi Nukasuna. You know the deal, folks. Read, pause, read some more. I'm continuing. 240 ton. Okie dokie. Now, if you remember, this is a mission similar to a high reward mission in a regular game. There's a couple of those in here because those are all factually based on the lore. 240 times. <coughs> Excuse me. go-to is for these kinds, these weights. I saved them just for something. Uh, 250s? No, I don't have 250s, but I do have a 55 and a 45. And this is the only mission here. I don't have to worry about getting down to tonnage again. <coughs> but you know what? I got a better 65. And I got them just for these kinds of missions. So no affinity in it, but it's energy. He's all about the energy. Yeah. He should do real well on that. So let's go do it. Multiple enemy Lyran mechs on the axis of approach. 
Oh yeah, I remember this thing. It's been a while. Full speed, folks. Opportunity fire. And our allies. No sense having allies and not putting them in the line of fire. Not so much. Exactly. Dropship coming down. Are we good? Now we got to go to the uh, point, don't we? Act to retry to take their base. I can't target that. Target received. Consider it salvage. To Marauder. I don't want him getting behind us. Taking the edges out. Yeah. Pushed it just a little too much. I think I just saw the thunderbolt fire. Whole raft of medium lasers. I saw one more over this way. In fact, I know I did. Yeah, down there in the base. Yeah, something just lowered the percentage. Was 70. Get out of the way. Well, six there. Oh, 
crafty little guy. I'd say it was a good mission, but I'm not impressed with what they did. He did okay, but... Well, I, guess, I guess it's supposed to dribble down a little bit, but... Ouch. And nobody took too much damage, so... That's a good sign. An extra two million sea bills. Yeah, there's a new one. We get news now, huh? Oh, quite a bit of news going backwards. Okay. So now the question is, am I done now with the uh, Crusader? And the answer is no, because I got uh, three more raids in the 250 range with 250, 260. So, nope, probably done with this guy and this guy, but they don't have using double heat sinks, so I don't really care about them. I'll take them out when I need to to conserve space. For now, we have a 67 day mission to Dereon. Ready, set? Uh oh, news. Watch a video. Draconis Combine has gone too far, inflicting harsh actions upon Federated citizens protesting against the conquerors that have invaded their lands. The FedCom Alliance must initiate swift action in response to this senseless violence. Davion spews lies, only seeking to conquer, to dominate, all in the guise of liberation. Our skies are riddled with the enemy. Invasion is upon us. Stewards of Vega, your world will soon be under attack by the power-hungry invaders. We cannot withstand this onslaught. It is only a matter of time before our lands are overrun before our people are enslaved. Great sacrifice is required to prevail, to secure the freedom of our citizens, for the Combine to live on.
LZ is clear, Commander. Ready for engagement orders. Online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. The third Leering Guards are the foot soldiers of Hellsteiner. They're here to avenge their failure to capture Vega during the Fourth Succession War. Help the Fifth deny Hellsteiner victory in Vega once again, Commander. We need to ensure Theodore Corita's reforms have a chance to make a difference. Let's just hope he's a man of his word. Enough of my men have been served up as sacrificial lambs during battle. New target. I'll vouch for the word of Theodore Corita. Target acquired. Words are just noise to a soldier. I rely on what I can see with my two damn eyes. You got hostiles closing. Open fire! Friendly artillery batteries active. Try and keep them functional. You'll need ground fire to beat them back. Acquired. Tracking a Lyran dropship descending on your location, General. Once again, my men are the goddamn vanguard standing at the mouth of hell! And I had to clip the mic off and forgot to turn it back on. It's a whole coffin thing. Sorry about that. Well, I hope that was the last one of them. Coughs, that is, folks. Coughs. Nowhere near the end of the mission. Time to do a little dodge and let the uh, allies take some heat. off his target. Dropship. You're in attack range of the comms array. Never seen it. They always say that.
Except they don't actually designate a target. So somebody missed a little piece of code there. Left on the dropship, and it's not mine. It's this heavy guy doing way over there. Betcha. Those are raining rocks. Yep, that's another enemy one. For a 250-ton mission, folks. Ray. Another successful hunt. Good hit. Comms array destroyed. Excellent work, Commander. You stood your ground. I'm dispatching relief in place. The 14th Legion will take it from here. Advance to the marked extraction point. Stand by for the next move order. Gonna have to remember that if I can. Well, I, I bet it moves. I don't recall me ever shooting it before, to tell you the truth. Call a couple incoming right here at the end. <coughs> I'll get that worked out sooner or later, folks. I'm sorry. Canyons remind me of canyons. And since I live in Arizona, I see a bunch of them. Two point four kilometers away. That's how far we had to walk for this. Stuck in a canyon is tactically dangerous. Watch those ridges. Initiating extraction now. Yep, nobody got too badly beat up. Yeah, only 
only two picks. Consider, if you will, what we took on there. And we came out pretty clean. Yeah, over tonnage penalty, yep. Eight mick kills, I'll take that. So that's 18 mechs out. Um, and no telling how many of the allies actually got as well. Not too shabby. I'm going to hit the repair button, but I don't think any of these are going to get uh, used again. Timeline says... Mission starts in one day. But you never know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So all of these will be available for the mission after this one. This would be Seek and Destroy a 260 tonner. But for now, I got this one. And this will be on the next episode of Opa Plays Mech Warrior 5. So you guys know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe. See you then. Hope is out.